Hey guys, what's going on? This is Alex from My Freedom Smokes, and today we're going to talk about the Segali 150 watt. First thing you're going to notice uh, is it does look very similar to the 100 watt plus. Uh, it does come with a nice silicone sleeve, uh, but we have found that this sleeve is a lot easier to take off. It's slightly thinner, that way it just comes right off. Uh, same thing with all your other Segalis. Uh, you are going to get some instruction manuals and authentication pieces of paperwork uh, just to show that this is an authentic product. Uh, much like with the Plus and all the others before, you can turn the battery on by clicking the button five times and you have your variable voltage and wattage settings down here. Uh, please keep in mind you can only edit your wattage settings. Your voltage changes when you change your wattage. It's got a nice magnet back. That way you can fit two 18650s in here. Uh, an important note about that, uh, please make sure you're buying brand new batteries to go with these. Uh, you do need to marry the batteries, which means they only go in this device, they go on the charger at the same time, and get put back in this device. That way not one battery is taking more strain than the other one does. Uh, the button, it feels a lot more smooth than the previous ones before. Uh, it's kind of got a nice two-tone finish to it. Uh, the casing around it is a little bit more of like a darker silver, where the button itself is a little bit of a brighter silver. Uh, same thing goes with the uh, black one. Uh, the casing around it is a little bit darker than the actual button itself. Uh, you've still got some really nice cutout grooves on the side, uh, and they're both sil uh, silver. On both mods and I think it just adds an extra little dimension to it kind of sets it apart and looks really nice uh, the best thing about this is it's priced very comparably for your regular 100 watt pluses uh, so if you're looking to go that extra mile the Segali 150 watt is the right one for you also with your pin you do have a floating center pin that way you don't have to really worry about adjusting your atomizer every single time you put it on this device uh, the one downside to it, though, is you're using something like the original Kanger sub tank. It may fluctuate a little bit with your ohm, so just make sure and keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.